Good morning everyone, just starting off this week with a da -da -da, Poundland haul. I am just getting ready to set up, so I thought it could be interesting to some of you if you do videos yourself, how I do my little setup. Probably quite amateur compared to a lot of other YouTubers, but essentially I'll just make sure that my background is all set up. So we usually hang up our dressing gowns there. I've just taken them down, literally just put them down there for now. And then just kind of cleared up, made the bed, made it all look kind of pretty. Just pop these down there somewhere. Tom's earpods charging. And then I will move my chair to the middle of the bed here. And then I have my camera set up here. Going through my wardrobe, by the way, so just ignore that. Let's just turn this off. I was just watching Towie in the background. This camera that I use, I link down below. I always leave this linked below. It's the uh, Panasonic Lumix G80 and the flip screen is there. So when you turn it on, you can see yourself in the viewfinder there, which is kind of handy. So I'll just kind of sit in the middle here. As you can see, I'm pretty much all ready to start filming. So I'm going to film this video now. If you want to see what I got from Poundland, then stay tuned for the Poundland haul. If it's already live, I'll link it down below. And this is pretty much my Monday morning. So welcome to a brand new week. The screen on this camera is filthy. Um, I'm not really sure what I've got planned this week other than working, filming, editing, that kind of thing. It's also forecast to be 22 degrees this week so I'm very excited for that I think we're going to go up to Tom's house because we don't have a garden here work from his mum's house sorry not his house his mum's house and she's away at the minute so we'll just use that to sunbathe because I need to top up well I say top up a tan I need to get a tan right now because this paleness is not set for spring summer when my car's back from in it's in repair at the minute but when it's back I want to go to Primark and do a big Primark haul because I've been watching a few lately and there are quite a few bits that I really want to get my hands on. So I'm going to be doing, hopefully going to Primark at some point this week. And yeah, that's really the plan for, for this week slash today. So I'm going to get on with filming and I will see you in a bit. So I've quite a productive morning this morning. I've just worked from Booth. It's now about two and I've literally been there since this morning. So I've got my charity shop haul edited so I need to upload that and do thumbnail and description and then this afternoon I'm gonna go back now and film the like DIY parts to my Poundland haul it's starting to get a bit warmer I can feel it in the air summer is on its way oh I've just got off FaceTime with my mum and dad who are currently in <laughs> who are currently in Dubai right now. Oh, so jealous. I'm just gonna nip two booze. It is half past five, so I'm gonna get us some dinner. Tom won't be back till about seven-ish. But both of us have enrolled on this online course that you do from home. The offer that we got it at was, um, it was meant to be 34 99 um, a week for an eight week course, I think. I think that's how much it was. But we got it for free which is amazing. And there were loads of different courses to choose from. So Tom, with what he does, he chose social media marketing, like with Facebook advertisement and everything. And I chose photography because I feel like I don't know enough about photography, yet I use cameras all the time. I'm using you right now. So the camera, in case you're interested, the one that I'm currently using is the G7X, the Canon which is Mark II and it is what I use for vlogging. I use my iPhone 7 Plus for taking pictures like for Instagram and stuff if I don't use this camera and then I will use my big camera, my Panasonic Lumix G80 which you saw earlier which I use for like my main channel, like main video, I always say main channel, I only have one channel, my main video like hauls and things like that. So I'm gonna go grab a coffee now, work like for the next hour or so until Tom gets home from booths just like with a coffee because that will fill me up a little bit and then I'm also gonna grab us some dinner for later, I'm not sure what yet, I'm gonna just take inspiration from what I see. Whoa, so Tom is chefing away, chicken, couscous, salad, while Tom has his lesson up ready, and then I have my lesson ready. So exciting! Let's see how far off we are. Two minutes and 18 seconds. So it's short academy that I'm doing it, and it's diploma in photography. Thank you. I've even got like a little notebook and pen out here. Tom, you got 30 seconds. <laughs> Yum. 
if you want to have a chat with anybody else on the lesson, if there's something that perhaps you're not quite understanding and somebody else does, you can help each other out through that option. Good morning, it is Wednesday and bit of a situation going on right now because I was going to be going to Primark today and I was really excited for it. I've been watching loads of Primark calls for ideas and inspiration on what to get. However, last night, um, Tom, when he was driving back from work in my car, it broke down. So he didn't get back till really, really late last night. Luckily, he's okay and everything, but it was just one of those situations that it's like, now it's in for a pair. But not only that, we're going to sell it now because we were going to sell it anyway. But this is just kind of like start of the ball rolling. So we're not driving it anymore. So we're going to have to get a new car. So I'm literally here unless Tom can drive me somewhere in the other car. So it just means that I'm kind of like homebound for a while, which is fine. But just means not very exciting content for you guys. I thought I'd just show you my outfit because I love what I'm wearing today. I've never worn this outfit before, but I thought I would show you it anyway. It's kind of along the beige neutral tones that I'm loving. So these jeans were from, my voice went really funny then, <clears throat> these jeans. These jeans were from Sainsbury's, which I did in my like supermarket series where I did um, like a fashion video. I think I did a home video, home haul of loads of different supermarkets. If you're interested, I'll leave the whole series below if that's your kind of thing. Uh, little Gucci belt. This top is like a favorite of mine. It's from Next. It's in store at the minute, so I'll leave it linked below. It's just a super floaty, light, staple basic basically staple basic basically <laughs> i've just tied it at the end as well because i love that like knot detail these nexters are from top shop they're my new favorite at the minute and then this little thing here is from primani three pounds this was and then i'm just going to put on my adidas swift runs i think let's just not look at how messy that is <laughs> yeah i'm going to put on these which I like my favourite, but I always have this issue with trainers. Does anyone else where the toe starts wearing away? Because, I don't know, it must be the shape of my feet and my toes, but it constantly, the nail rubs against the trainer. So if they're material trainers like these, then they don't tend to last very long, which is just brilliant. So anyway, what I think I'm going to do this morning is just work from booze. I've got to go to the office. I might ask Emily if she's working from home as well today because sometimes she does and it's nice we'll go to the lounge which is in our village and just have a coffee and sit and work together. The sun is, I literally am saying the sun is finally coming out and it just goes behind a big cloud. But anyway, in general, it's feeling a little bit more spring-like. I have received a couple of parcels so I just thought I'd show you. In fact, both of these are for an eBay haul so I'll leave them there but i've got this ah uh, yes yeah, so this company reached out and wanted to send me um a couple of their oils the brand is called nature spell so what i'll do is i'll leave their information linked below but they had quite a few different like natural oils to choose from um so if you like the likes of argan oil or coconut oil there were so many different options and not only that, they actually tell you a bit about the benefits of each one and what it can be used for, what it can help treat. So I wanted to try the natural castor oil, which is this bottle here, uh, to use. Apply a small amount throughout damp or dry hair style as usual. Apply a small amount directly on skin and massage well. So you can use them for your hair, body, face. Like I said, this one is the natural castor oil, which is useful for treating certain skin conditions, particularly those caused by bacterial or fungal infections. It also helps protect the hair and scalp from fungal infections, two principal causes of hair loss. For those suffering with dandruff as well, the fatty acids in castor oil help nourish the hair, prevent the scalp from drying. And then the other one that I got is the natural jojoba, jojoba oil. I hope that's how you pronounce it. So it looks like this. Very close resemblance to the oil our skin naturally produces. The notable benefits of jojoba include its ability to moisturize Hair, prevent hair loss, soothe sunburn and speed the healing process, plus rejuvenate the skin and prevent acne. So I'm just gonna get a little bit. Oh my god, that smells like holiday. That smells incredible and it literally does absorb straight into your skin. That's amazing. Oh my god, I'm in love. Oh, that smells so good. Yes! Thank you so, so much. I love oils. I'm a big fan of using oils for my hair and body at the minute. 
I tried lots of different oils, argan oil they do on their website as well. I do have quite a few that I'm currently testing, hence why I decided to go for two different ones. Who is your customer? I'm learning all about camera functions and lenses today. Module one, lesson two, camera functions and lenses. I think there's four modules, each with four lessons maybe. I'm not quite sure. Each lesson's about an hour. And then, yeah, it's two minutes past seven, so it should be on any second. And then I've got a hot chocolate to keep me going throughout this lesson. And that's this evening. I went for a lovely, lovely walk with Emily and Ralph, and then she's looking after another dog at the minute as well. So. Went for a nice long walk, so got my 10,000 steps in today because of that. And we were soaking up the summer sunshine because it has felt very summery today. So I think if it's gonna be like this tomorrow, me and Tom are gonna to work from his mum's. But as for this evening, we're gonna finish, we're gonna do this course, finish The Sinner on Netflix, which is the second time we're watching it because it's really good. If you haven't watched it, you have to see it. Mm. Smell your hair again. <laughs> you're saying my hair smells. It smells like you've been outside. I have been outside walking. Right, we're going to knit to booze because I'm feeling a bit peckish. No. All right. He's whistling me like a dog. Have you got keys? We're going to go grab a coffee and Tom's having a tea. We're going to have it in bed and watch Netflix because our course is finished. We've got some work done. It's about nine o'clock already. It doesn't feel like it because it's still light outside. Good morning. We are off to Blackburn this morning. We're going to have a quick. Um, I need to get a couple of toiletry bits from Body Care, like some suntan oil, suntan lotion for today. And then we're going to have a quick look in Primark. What's with that? Let's go to Booze, grab a coffee for the road. Let's head to Blackburn. Quick outfit of the day before I head out. This top is from Next. These are from Topshop. These trousers are pretty little thing. Adidas Swift Run Trainers, coach bag, and this little Primark number. Traversy, because it feels so empty without me. Tom knows the words to all of the words to this song. <laughs> How can I have one hour? This is going to be tight to do a Primark haul in one hour. Yeah, definitely put some shorts on. I might put a dress on because these I can't tan in. We're just going to go, um, we're actually going to have a power hour working just because we've been out all morning. It's now 11. So we're going to get an hour or so's work done here, have lunch because we've got some salad left over from last night and some meatballs. And then I've got a big bag down there, Primark bag. I felt a little bit rushed. So I didn't try anything on, so I need to try everything on first, but I'll obviously do it in a haul for you guys. See how everything fits, and then if needs be, I can always take stuff back. And then I also just bought some of this from Body Care just to put on whilst we're sat in Tom's mum's gun. So we've got a little bit of protection. It's not that warm, but at least we've got a bit of protection, but then it's like a body oil as well, so it does help you catch the sun. A little bit smoky in here, but Tom's just made this at most. I'm coming! Okay, why? Oh. Um, he just made this delicious salad. We've got the meatballs that we had, the salad from last night, which is like beetroot and feta, and then homemade croutons. Delicious. Oh, and then this little set that I'm wearing is perfect for sunbathing because it's strapless, so I won't get tan lines here. And then the slits on the leg, if you can see, it's like high waisted like this, just got flip flops on. But then when I sit down, I can just open the slits on the legs to tan my legs as well. Yeah. And then this little silky hair bubble thing is from Primani. I've got my suntan lotion on, my phone, my hairs are off my face. I have got SPF 25 on my face though, because I don't want to burn my face. And then I've got my laptop set out here, which let's be honest, it's incredibly hard to work in the sun because for one reason, I just wanna relax, but also it's hard to see the screen, which is kind of annoying. Um, so I'm glad we did that little power hour, but I still have lots to do. This is the problem you see in the UK. When the sun's out, we just need to be in it, don't we? You are my candy oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you have a nice time in the 
of sunshine. Oh, yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? I'm gonna go back to ours just for a quick shower, rinse off all the this car's coming. Oh, rough. Rinse off all the suntan lotion, then we're gonna head to the bar and get some food, some grub. Oh, look at that golden hour. <laughs> Do you know what you're eating? No, no, actually. Burgers or kebabs? Not sure. We're here, so this is Tommy's restaurant. I always say ours. I hope you don't mind. It's actually just Tom's, really. Illuminati. Let's go eat some food. Currently, just shopping online whilst the food's arrived. It is Friday and as always with my weeks on Fridays I am typically in the office um, getting on with some paperwork and admin bits for Tom's businesses. So I'm just going to pop you here. I wanted to just show you this morning a little delivery that I've had. I've no idea what it is yet. I've got two which I think are for my eBay haul so I'm going to leave them for now. Firstly happy Friday, happy morning, happy morning, happy Happy weekend. We had a lovely day yesterday in the sun. We did catch it a little bit, to be honest. You can't really see with what I'm wearing. This top I got from MS Outlet at Cheshire Oaks, which is a really, really nice quality material basic top. Kind of just falls like so. Was it last week's weekly vlog or the week before? I'll link it below. But where I went shopping around Cheshire Oaks, I picked this up for a bargain. Top Shop Nexus misguided hoodie from, I think this was from the New Essentials collection, but they still have. Um, it, as far as I'm aware and then these jeans are from Sainsbury's yeah they are so without further ado let's get the opening this brand has very kindly sent to me let's see what's inside Ah, oh, that's cute. So there's a little thank you leaflet in here. We hope you enjoy wearing your jewellery as much as our team enjoyed making it. Your jewellery is made from recycled materials in an ethically and a conscious way. It's made keeping in mind the environment, the craftspeople, the designers and obviously you. We'd love to tell you about the craftspeople who made it. So then inside you get a little document with the details of the people that made it. This is so cool. So inside you get a little dust bag which I think is a really nice touch and then this is what the box looks like so if we open it up inside we've got a little package and some packaging I love the attention to detail with the packaging with this let's just focus it and it is basically like an ear cuff kind of thing so I've just put one in so you can see what it looks like I have always wanted to get like more multiple piercings and I love the look of like of having a few rings but this with my just my single low piercing this makes it look like I've got more how pretty is that thank you so much to the brand for sending me them and as always I will leave links to the brand down below and links to these earrings if you want to try them yourself okay so I just quickly nipped home just to drop off some parcels and I'm gonna go grab some lunch as well. The sun is shining, although apparently it's not meant to last very long, which is a shame. Okay, so I showed you this earlier. I also got a parcel from a brand called Toby, T-O-B-I. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, there's just a couple of clothing items in there, so I'm gonna show you them later, but I'll show you the jewelry that they sent in the meantime. Got a little three tier necklace and then also some earrings like I said because I'm loving wearing gold earrings at the minute these little mini hoops and textured hoops are perfect I, I don't suit the big gold hoop styles but the little ones like that I really really like at the minute it's quite like bohemian isn't it so I'll show you these clothes when I can try them on a bit later um, but I also got this which I don't know what this is oh actually I have an idea what as to what this could be yes one of my all-time favorite chocolate brands is Hotel Chocolat. And they got in touch the other day to say that they were sending over this. Da, da, da. So I know we're trying to be good at the minute, but you know, I can't not have any chocolate in the house. I've decided even if I just have 
a little bit. I've got to have some. So they sent over the Sleekster, or they've got several Sleekster palettes. You might have seen in my Mother's Day gift ideas post that I recommended getting one of these. They had a Mother's Day special. And they've got different options. They've got like an uh, original type one. They've got this one, which is the patisserie. So lots of different yummy things. Chocolate mousse, caramel cheesecake, carrot cake. Blondie Brownie, Tiramisu, Custard Tart, Billy Nair Shortbread, there's so much. So I'm gonna love eating these. <sighs> what I'll do is I'll actually leave a link to where you can get those below because if you're interested in getting a gift for somebody, if somebody's birthday's coming up, I really would recommend Hotel Chocolat. And now let's go head out to grab some lunch. Hopefully in the sunshine, we'll see. I thought I'd sit and have my salad on the park. So this is my view currently. Delightful. I don't think you want salad. Bye. Tom's just got home and I'm gonna surprise him with a little something. Close your eyes. Don't peek. No, don't peek. You're like a little boy. Open. Oh. I might have had four already. Four. This one is, you might not like it. Apple strudel, it's incredible. Here, look, there's your menu. Nice. I'm gonna have this one, because that's my favorite, apple strudel. It's like, it reminds me, oh, it smells so good. It's got cinnamon in it, it's like very autumnal. Cinnamon? Cinnamon. Mm. You won't like that one. No. <laughs> I think I'll like them all. Mm. Very, very good. Oh, well, they're pretty, huh? They're what, pretty? Mm. We have decided tonight that we are going to go out for food with Finny and Emily. So we're just going to go to, are we going to the forest? Yeah. Forest. And we're meant to be going on a long dog walk tomorrow. Me, Emily, Lizzie and Mel, who you've seen from the Manchester Night Out and the Spa Day for Lizzie's birthday. And then it's Emily's birthday in a couple of weeks. Do you know what you're having? What about pizza? <laughs> I think so. They've got like a couple of staff at this place, so we're going to nick as well. <laughs> for our oh, for the new bar. Yeah. Um, yes. So I think I'm going to go for pizza because I've got one of those pizza ovens. We'll see. Ralph, where's the treat? Come get it. Yeah. Find it. Where is it? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get it. Find it. Oh. <laughs> Love a boy. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, Meanwhile, Polly's oh, just oh, interested oh, in playing with the ball. <laughs> really? It's like he's got, oh, he's, oh. he's got hands and fingers. Use your paw! Use your paw! He's nearly got it just Go this time. He's going to jump up in a minute, look. Jump off your bark. <laughs> what are you doing? He's on a lead because this one is reliable and this one isn't. Um, Polly, get down. Push your ball. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> good Bye -bye. boy. Gin and tonics? Tonics. This is the best tonic water. Made with Angus. What, how, do, how do you say that? Angus bitters, I'm No, it's Angostura bark. Me and Emily have both got one. Yeah, I've wondered Cheers. what that is a few times. Gin, gin. It's a wine glass. I know. You got the better one. The bowl. Oh god, I don't know what? Sorry. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Look at this cutie. And her dog. <laughs> With her knickers on, because she's on heat. Good girl. Where's this dog? Who's this? Oh, not interested. Decided bacon's a form of therapy. It is. So, tastes good. Because I've read that, you know, it is meant to be a form of therapy. You weren't sneezing while you made it, were you? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> my boyfriend thinks he's a gangster. Oh, it's Freaky Friday. I'm in Chris Brown's birthday. Ready? Right, breakfast time. I think we're gonna have breakfast on the park this morning. Side pal. Pal. <laughs> Tom. They're coming for you. Let's give him a little bit. Oh, Go on. 
You can get it. Let me take it out here. There we go. <laughs> well, this is delightful, isn't it, Tommy? Having our sausage. Well, you got sausage and bacon. I just got sausage sandwich. We've got pastry in the bag. I'm just having our breakfast outside, enjoying this British summer in April. We've just seen a massive. Did you say it was a carp? But if I drop this camera in here now, can you see that? Put your finger in and see if it. <laughs> Did you? You can't. That doesn't count. <laughs> Oh, did you hear you cracking then? <laughs> well done. What's this one for then? Oh, they're both just the same. I thought I'd just show you quickly these clothes that I got from Toby. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce the brand. It's T-O-B-I. I will leave their links below. So the first one is like a kind of knit cardigan style top but the way that they styled it like i said i'll leave a link to it below so you can see how they styled it on the website but what they actually did is the bottom couple of buttons they undid them and tied it in a knot i got this in a size medium and i also love the tortoise shell buttons it's a detail that i am loving at the minute i also picked up this skirt which i really really like this and i'm hoping it fits and it's basically like an A-line skirt in this like corduroy material in cream with very muted gold buttons, which is nice because sometimes if they're very yellow gold, it makes it look a bit cheap, I think. In a size medium. And that's the brand, in case you're interested. Love that. They could be quite nice together, actually. And then lastly, I got this. But it's a little crop top with little flared sleeves at the end. And again, zip detailing up the back in gold. So creams and golds, I'm loving at the minute. I know I'm in all black at the minute, but that's because we're gonna go for a little bit of a dog walk. And I figured whilst the sun's out, wear kind of like workout gear, but take a hoodie as well, just to keep myself a little bit warm. Are you naked? A a, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm gonna turn this off now, cause Tom's naked, naked, naked. Okay, minus the sports bra, ignore that, because I've literally not bothered taking that off. As a top, love this. And the material of it is really, really soft, it's lovely. And then this is the A-line skirt. I thought it was gonna be a bit too, um, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a bit too small, but it's actually, it's not too big, but it's just a nice, comfortable fit. Nice, that. Tom said I should be like an ambassador for the brand, because it's my kind of clothing, which it is. Suits you. Although I did pick these from the website, so I did choose this colour palette, this kind of material. Can I have your manager but... take twenty percent if we get some money and stuff? Yeah, you can be my manager. You can be my agent. Although let's work off twelve and a half percent first of all. Yeah. Twenty percent is a bit steep. Well, I'll get you some big jobs. I'll do twelve and a half. Yeah, any big jobs, twelve and a half percent. Or any big jobs, anything over five hundred k. Deal. Are you a man of your word though? A man of my word. I'm a woman of my word. Tom, your phone's ringing. Oh, gotta go. Oh, yeah. Oi, be quiet. Look at what Emily's done. Excuse me. I'm trying to vlog here. He doesn't like the balloons. <laughs> I'm gonna try and see how he reacts to these bubbles. Oh. <laughs> I think he's scared. We need to do it in an open park on another day, don't we? He's too scared of these balloons. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Yeah, let's get out in that sun. Um, I didn't want you to feel like we'd forgotten about you, so I know it's a bit premature. Oh, you're so But cute. this is all for you. you. It's up to you, you can either open your presents. I mean, yeah, this is my birthday, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, Yay! Thank you. 
Look at the size of our dinner. These are my favorite squid. That's the baked cheese, fish cakes, pizza chips. Mm, I'm excited. <laughs> Back home, home sweet home. Tom's still out, so I'm guessing he might be out for the rest of tonight. It's only half seven, but I think he went out and enjoyed the sunshine with the boys. <sighs> so we had a lovely walk up Pendle, which is like a big hill near where we live and there's like a um, quite popular walk that you can do. So it's a fair walk. I did how many steps in the end? Let's have a look. 11,500 steps, which is pretty good. And a lot of it is very steep as well. The other two had plans already. So me and Lizzie decided to just have a last minute dinner at a place called Tubbs in Cone. And it was delicious. I feel very full right now. However, I'm, I still got room for some chocolate because we've got some of those hotel chocolate chocolates left over. So that is pretty much my plan for this evening. I think what I'm going to do is put on television, which Britain's Got Talent is on soon. Right, okay. It's on in half an hour, so I'm going to have a nice hot shower, rinse my hair, do a face mask and just chill out for a bit. Watch that, get into my comfy PJs and just see Tom whenever he gets home. Let him have a lad's time. They're still out probably drinking. It's still sunny, but it's not like warm anymore, so... I'm ready to have a hot shower, get into bed and just chill out. My perfect Saturday evening. I'm such a boring old grandma, but I love it. So anyway, that is my plan, hot shower time. Thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to this channel, it means so much to me. And I will see you again next week. Bye guys.